In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at using the Windows taskbar. Uh, the taskbar is the area, uh, the panel, if you will, across the bottom of the screen that holds open program icons. Uh, it also provides us with the start button, uh, or formerly known as the start menu, uh, and is our primary location for working with documents and, and those kinds of things that are open, the programs that are open. Let's take a look here. Now, on my system, the taskbar is set to uh, to auto hide itself, okay? So it's going to kind of go away as I move away from it, but we're dealing with this area across the bottom of the screen. Okay, by default, Windows 7 doesn't have a whole lot in this area. What you'll see is that as soon as you open up programs, say uh, Internet Explorer, then you'll get a representation uh, of that icon down, uh, or of that program down on the taskbar. Let's open up a, a couple other uh, programs. We'll open up Google Chrome there, go to a, a different site and just minimize that, minimize both of these, and now we notice that we've got both Internet Explorer and uh, Google Chrome in the taskbar. Why are they there? They are there because they have, uh, or they are currently open. Okay? And so the same would be the case. We're going to open up Microsoft Word, and we're going to open up uh, PowerPoint, a couple of other uh, utilities. Okay, whatever it is, we'll just put a little bit of information. Whatever it happens to be, it will be represented, that program will be represented down in the taskbar. And when we hover over it, we can see a representation of that document. A thumbnail is what this is referred to. Now notice if I move my mouse, it will actually flash the screen to that program. This is very beneficial. Um, it lets me quickly and easily flip between programs. In some programs, say Internet Explorer and the Office programs, if I were to uh, open up additional windows, and we'll open up Amazon.com there and minimize, you'll have a representation of both of those. Okay, they, it's, it's a different window. In this case, it's a diff different tab in the browser, but they're still represented. The same is going to be true uh, for Word. If I open up Word and then we'll create a new document, use the Control-N keyboard shortcut there, and this is the second document. We'll try to differentiate between them by uh, doing a, a different font color and uh, just a, a different font there. Okay. So again, when we minimize it, now in Word, we've got two representations. We've got document one, we have document two. You can act on the documents that are there. We, can, we have the close, of course. Go ahead and close, and at this point it would ask me, do you want to save it? I go ahead and just save those as a default name. Um, you can right-click the program icon and close the window. You can right-click it and close all windows if you had multiple windows opened up. For instance, uh, I've got a couple here. We'll go to eBay.com. Whoops. And now I've got a couple Chrome windows, so when I right-click, I'm going to get close all windows. Some other things that you can do is pin a program to the taskbar. So, for instance, I always want Internet Explorer, so I right-click that icon, right-click on the mouse, and then say I want to pin this program to the taskbar. It then remains permanent. Even if I close the window, notice Internet Explorer is still there. I can do the same thing with any program. And that's not the only way to pin it. Let's close all these windows, so let me show you. We're going to go through and close several of these, saving a couple. But let me show you the other way uh, to get a, a program icon there. And, and that would be, say, I use Excel a lot and I have this here. Uh, what I can do is I can simply click and drag and then drop. Drop it on the taskbar, that will pin it to the taskbar. Uh, you can move these around. This is a left click, hold, and then drag, and, and you're able to move the program icons around uh, as much as you need to. We're able to control what's on what's called a, a jump list. Uh, now, it may not be tracking that information, and we'll get into how to customize that later, but a jump list is something that will uh, show up here, recent documents that have been opened up. Okay. Uh, so let's just do a test there and close that, save it. 
You know, and, and if those history lists are on, which it doesn't appear that they are, uh, if those are on, then it will allow me to see previous documents. And we'll hold off and, and look at that in the customization. So we don't see that here um, because that history is, is not turned on. Okay, so this is the taskbar area. And again, there is some customization that you have available to you. We can permanently pin programs to the start menu, and then we can utilize what are known as jump list. That was the little menu that popped up. We've got the live thumbnails, and the taskbar in Windows 7 just has a lot of advancements to make it easier to have multiple windows open and quickly get to uh, the area that I would like to get to, uh, you know, and see exactly which program or document I want to see. And so the taskbar is kind of a launch pad for everything that we have, and that's why we start with it in our uh, general overview and walkthrough of the Windows 7 operating system.